It's now 6.52, time for the six things you need to know before you go. We do begin this morning in Aiken County where the school district is mourning the death of a beloved teacher. Wednesday night, 50-year-old Dana Foster was shot and killed. She was found in her home on Chalkbed Road in Graniteville. Her son-in-law, Alexander Carl, is charged with her murder. He was arrested a short time later after police arrived at Foster's home. She was a fifth grade teacher at Bird Elementary. Testimony will continue today in the federal hate crime trial for the men convicted of killing Ahmaud Alberry. Uh, this week, the jury actually uh, looked at photographs and had graphic autopsy pictures. The three defendants, William Bryan and Travis and Greg McMichael, all have pled not guilty. There is a new twist on how to bring tourism to the city of Aiken. It's called the Visit Aiken Ambassador Initiative. The partnership is between the Tourism Department and USC Aiken. Those in the program will learn more about customer service, communication, and how to build solid customer relationships. To take part, just find the story at WJBF.com. Well, making Augusta a cleaner city is a top priority this year, but many say it doesn't include cleaning up cemeteries in the city. Local residents, local residents are taking maintenance issues into their own hands at Westview Cemetery. They're looking for volunteers to tend to graves, saying what's going on now is not good enough. Today, Georgia Senator John Ossoff will be in Augusta. He is inspecting the Charlie Norwood VA Medical Center downtown. He'll meet with local VA leadership and veterans to talk about ways that he's working to improve access and care for vets and their families. He recently secured $1.6 million for construction grants for veteran homes in Augusta. And your weekend forecast looking really good. Saturday after a morning low of 35, mostly sunny with highs of 65. A colder start Sunday morning, lows down to 32, but the afternoon sunny and a little warmer at 66.